The length is 18 inches. Come down by 4 inches from the starting line. The cap's width is 9.5 inches on fold. Draw the sleeves as curve. Shoulder to elbow line is 13 inches. The width on fold is 6.5 inches. Add 1 inch for seam allowance. Add the hem 4 inches on fold plus 1 inch seam allowance. Connect the side lines and cut the sleeve. You will need two sleeves. Place a fabric on fold for the flare. At the folded corner, mark 4.5 inches as the radius. Mark the flare's length as 7 inches. Connect the curve. Cut the bottom and top curve. You will need two flares. To the sewing machine, this is one side of the front bodice. Place right sides together. From the hem, sew by 0.5 inch. Notch the bustier curve, then sew to the armhole. Notch along the curve. Open to see the bustier effect on the right side. Trim the armhole to align if necessary. The other side of the front bodice is cropped. Right sides together again. Sew by 0.5 inch from the hem to the armhole. Notch. Open to the right side. Here are both sides of the front pieces. The same fabric serves as the lining, already sewn in the same way. Right sides will be placed together to the back pieces. Notice how the cropped side and the full length side is switched in positions as against the front placement. Join the cropped side first by 0.5 inch. Notch along the curved line to the full length side. Sew from the hem by 0.5 inch. Notch and flatten out the pieces. Place the right sides of the matching lining on both sides, then keep aside. Moving on to the flare, with a 3 inches crinoline, place on the hem of the flare. At the beginning, push outward the crinoline as shown. Start sewing by 0.5 inch, half inch below the waistline. Ease the crinoline into the seam line. Don't pull on the crinoline. Continue sewing till you reach the center back. At the start point, trim off the excess crinoline. Bend back the seam allowances towards the lining fabric as shown. Top stitch the seam allowances from the curve all the way to the center back. Turn the flare to the right side. No seam shows in front. The top stitch reflects on the lining piece. You should overlock the waist area to stop the rough edge from fraying. The belt is 4 inches widthwise. Place on fold. Sew widthwise and lengthwise by 0.5 inch all the way to the end and turn inside out. The length here is 80 inches. Make yours as preferred. For the sleeve, sew by the seam allowances added. Fold the seam allowances at the side of the sleeve and pin in place. For the flare, sew on the right side first. Turn to the wrong side and sew by 0.5 inch for a neat finish. Match the side seams of the flare and the sleeve. Pin in place. Put the flare into the sleeve, matching up the edges. Sew round the sleeve by 0.5 inch, creating equal gathers of the flare as you sew along. See the wrong side of the sleeve and then the right side. Both sleeves are ready. Place right sides of the lining on fabric. Sew the neckline by 0.5 inch. Notch along the neckline, shorten the lining's length by 0.5 inch than the main fabric. Match up the hem, then sew by 0.5 inch. Create notches. Turn inside out and you should flat iron at this stage. To the other back piece, turn the neckline, notch, turn to the right side. On the front piece, mark the half length, top stitch the belt on that point. Place the lining piece over it, right sides together. Lay a hemming gum over the seam line. 
so by 0.5 inch all the way to the side hem notch along the curved line turn inside out adjust the fabric in position repeat same process of turning the other side of the front pieces the belt is placed 0.5 inch above the half length starting from the hem and with a hemming gum sew by 0.5 inch go ahead to turn inside out next lay the back piece over the front piece these are the cropped side join the shoulders by 0.5 inch as shown flatten out the shoulder line right and wrong sides are seamless for the full length side place right sides together of the back and front bodies join the shoulder lines covering with a lining piece and sew by 0.5 inch the right and wrong side are neatly closed the waistline of the flare has been overlooked sew a loose stitch along the waistline on the cropped side sew the sides placing right sides together and matching the edges mark the seam allowances added from the hem sew to the armhole Place the bodies in position. Now lay the side line open flat, side front to center back. Do well to overlock the waistline of the bodies. The flare has been gathered and it matches up with the body's waistline. Now place right sides of the flare on the bodies like so. From the center front, sew by 0.5 inch all the way to the center back. see the right sides of the bodies moving on to the center back place both bodies side by side sandwich the side with the peplum between the full bodies lining and main fabric as shown match up the edges with a hemming gum sew by 0.5 inch from the neckline to the hem turn out in position see the center back line and the right side this is the side line and the front area to the other side not joined is the full length side lay on the front bodies mark the seam allowances of one inch added come down by six inches from the armhole leave a space of 1.5 inches connect the side lines leaving out the belt space here is where the belt will pass through so starting from the armhole back stitch skip the space back stitch again and sew to the hem with a final back stitch this is a display of the overlap placement the belt from the flare side goes through the space of the full length side then overlaps in front to the armhole attach the sleeve fold the side of the sleeve at the armhole pin in place match up the side seams lay the bodies over the sleeve like so revealing the armhole match up the edges of the fabric sew by 0.5 inch here is the outcome of the top with the sleeves attached repeat same process in attaching the sleeve on the other armhole this trimming will be used to add more detail to the top cut each piece and with a generous amount of candle glue attach the trim on the front curve starting from the shoulder and all the way to the side hem this project is complete if this tutorial was helpful please drop a comment like share and subscribe don't forget to turn on your notification bell for more videos bye